how to approach beautiful women. My number one secret, most powerful opener revealed in tonight's coaching video. So stay tuned. Hey, this is Ann from The 33 Secrets. We're out here at Universal Studios tonight in Hollywood. I'm out walking around. It's only about a mile away from my house, so I thought I'd come out here and shoot some videos for you. But we are talking about my number one most secret, most powerful opener revealed in tonight's coaching video. Okay, and it's something called, I'm not gonna give it away to you. You have to stay tuned, okay? You have to stay tuned. We're just gonna jump right into it. All right, but tonight's coaching video is taken directly from my monthly coaching program, Seven Months to Mastery, where I am teaching guys just like you all of my best tips, tricks, techniques, and strategies for how to go out there and approach young, beautiful women into your own life. So if you have not gotten in my program yet, then you want to do that like ASAP. It's still open right now, and it's still only a buck, right? It's only a dollar. So get signed up now. Just click the link below in my description box to take you over to my website. It only takes two seconds to get signed up. And again, it's only a buck. Let's jump right into tonight's coaching video, which is my number one most powerful opener. Revealed. Okay, revealed. Let's get started. All right, so right now I want to talk about my favorite opener in the entire world. One of the most advanced pickup techniques that you are ever ever going to learn and it is called the claw okay this is the most advanced pickup technique and most deadliest most powerful pickup technique that you could possibly ever ever learn and this is something that you only want to do when you are in state when you are feeling it whenever you're out of state don't want to do the claw okay you want to stay away from the claw it's just too powerful for when you're out of state. It is only meant for when you are in state, when you're feeling in that vibe, you're feeling good about yourself, you're feeling good about life, that is when you want to use the claw. All right, so what is the claw? The claw is basically when you're out at a venue. Okay, generally you only wanna do this at night. You don't wanna do this during the day too much. It might freak girls out, although I have done it during the day successfully, just when I'm feeling in that vibe, I'm feeling that mood. I might be somewhere randomly, like at a Target or something, and I see a hot girl walk out by, I'm feeling that vibe, I'm like, boom, hey, you, come here. Who are you? And that's kind of a more subtle version of the claw. But if it's at night, if we're out at a venue, and that girl's walking by me, and I'm feeling in that vibe, I'm gonna be like, boom, bam, who are you? And the girl's like, whoa. And a lot of times you'll get that response. She'll actually say that, like, whoa. And not in a bad way, like, whoa. She'll be like, whoa, I'm Jenny. Who are you? You'll see her eyes light up. She'll give you uh, what we call in the pickup community, those Bambi eyes, like, oh my gosh. You're making her feel these intense emotions of attraction that she can't even explain what she's feeling because so many girls aren't used to that jolt. It's like getting that, that five hour energy jolt, like taking, like drinking like 10 of them and you're just like, bam, you know, this jolt comes out of nowhere. So that's how powerful that claw is when you pull girls in like that. And it's really simple. It's just basically what I'm just showing you right now is, you know, say the girl's just walking by, boom, take her, pull her into you. Bam, who are you? And then just sit and wait. And she'll be like, I'm Jenny, hi. Whoa, where did you come from? Doesn't matter. So, Jenny, right? And I think there's even a, an infield video on my channel where I don't know if I used the claw on this chick or not, but I walked into the saddle ranch and I did a kiss close within 20 seconds. This girl was uh, she was kind of on a, I don't know if it was a date or what, but she was like walking out to meet the other guy and she was like walking past me. I didn't know she was there with that guy, by the way. I noticed later because I was going to go talk to her afterwards and I noticed she was sitting with some guy. <laughs> I was like, oops, but she was walking out and then randomly I'm like, bam, you know, I just came in. Hey, who are you? She's like, Jenny. I'm like, where are you from, Jenny? She's like, Minnesota. It's, you know, you could tell and she was right there in my face. 
And I'm like, Jenny. It's like, what? Well, have you had your first random kiss tonight? She's like, ah, uh, do it. Kissed her. Bam, right there on the spot. 20 seconds. She pulls back. She's like, okay. And then she walks by. She's like, bye. And you can tell like her emotions. You're just like, whoa, what just happened? Right? She's like, oh my gosh. But that's how powerful the claw is. Again, I don't know if I use the claw in that video, but that's kind of my uh, simplified version of it. That's a reaction you're going to get. And a lot of times it's hard to get these things on tape because these things happen. They're just, they're just so very quick and you just have to be feeling in the mood, in the vibe. And when that dime piece goes walking by, just bam, hey, boom, pull her in, right? It's hard to get that on tape because the cameraman would have to be like shooting me, you know, nonstop 24 seven. Generally what we do is when we're filming infields is I'm like, hey, there goes a girl, go ahead and turn on the camera. I'm going to do my approach. But when you're using the claw, it's just so random. You never know, right? You're just in state and then you see that girl walking by, you're like, bam, you, boom, in. Who are you? It's that fast, it's that quick. So it's, you can't be like, oh, by the way, turn on the camera, I'm gonna go do the claw. It doesn't work like that, unfortunately. So that's why uh, it's very, very difficult. Even these uh, top pickup guys who have tons of infield footage, you can't get the claw on tape. It's almost like this mystery thing, but, uh, Believe me when I tell you, this is a very, very, very powerful opener. It's the shortest, most powerful, most intense uh, opener that you could possibly use. But again, it's, it's a little bit more advanced technique. You only want to use this when you're really feeling in state and you're feeling in the vibe. Because if you try to do this and you're out of state, uh, it will very quickly creep the girls out. If you're like, you, come here. <laughs> Who are you? You know, the girl will be like, ah! You know, so you have to do it when you're in state. Otherwise, the claw will have the reverse effect. I mean, that's just how deadly it is. But it is super fun to do when you're in state, when you're just feeling the vibe and you're just, you're just loving life. What I see with a, guy, a lot of guys who uh, are more intermediate, who are kind of, they're successful with the claw every now and then, not all the time. And they might ask me like, hey, how come sometimes the claw works and sometimes it doesn't, but when it does work, it's so awesome. And, you know, I can't stop using the claw, but it really, you know, kills me when, you know, those times where I do it and it doesn't work. And what I tell them and what I tell you, if you're having that problem now is you have to understand the thing about the claw, this is not just an opener. The claw is actually a reflection of your lifestyle and who you are as a person, your energy, your charisma, your aura, right? That's what the claw really represents. So when you're coming up to that girl and you're like, bam, hey, boom, in, who are you? I mean, within those split seconds, you're communicating so much to the girl about yourself that you're this badass, fun, adventurous, awesome, James Bond type guy that has no fear, right? No fear at all and you're willing to take those risks, you're willing to take those chances, you're not afraid of getting rejected, and you put yourself out there. You're communicating just so intensely and so honestly to the girl when you do the claw when you're in state that, like I said, it causes her to feel all these crazy emotions for you that she can't even explain. But again, for those students who are intermittently having uh, problems with the claw where sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, like I said, you have to understand the claw is a lifestyle. So you can't just be this dreary guy in life that's just hating life and you're complaining all the time and you know, life kind of sucks. And then you're out at the venue and you're like, all right, let me try this claw thing that I heard about. Let's see if it works. Boom. Hey, you security, security, you know, you, <laughs> that's what's going to happen. So you have to understand that the claw isn't a technique. It's a way of life, right? And that's the best way to, to put it. The claw is not a technique. It is a way of life. It is a way of living. Your life reflects the claw and the claw is just an extension of you. It is not a pickup technique. It is an extension of who you are. It's an extension of your personality and you're putting it out there for the girl to see. And it's just, so honest it's so genuine it's so authentic especially when you're in state that's why it works so well and it's so powerful and the girl just instantly gets attracted to you and you can do the the craziest things with a girl 
when the claw works, okay? When you open the with the claw and you're like, boom, in, who are you? And the chick's right in your face, you can make out with her, you can grab her, you can hug her. She might grab your crotch. A lot of these girls are like, grab my crotch, grab my ass. They'll just like, <gasps> you know, start hugging on me. Oh my God, I love you. They'll like, I don't know how many times I've heard that after the claw. I love you, oh my gosh, marry me. It's crazy what the claw, just the emotions it causes these girls to feel, it's that powerful. But uh, the tutorial with the claw is, you only, only want to do it when you're in state, okay? So trust me when I tell you guys, only do it when you're in state. Do not do it when you're out of state. Do it when you're in state and you're really feeling good about life and you're feeling good about yourself. And the more that you feel good about your life and you feel good about yourself consistently versus intermittently like most guys, the more you can make that a consistent theme in your life, the more you can use the claw the more consistently it will work. So it will kind of mirror your life. It will mirror the fun and the adventure that you're experiencing in life and the winning that you're experiencing in life. The claw will just mirror all that. Like I said, it will work the best when you're in state and you're feeling good about yourself and you're feeling good about life. And the more you could make yourself feel good about yourself and feel good about life, the more consistently you could just make that a th overall theme in your life the more you can use the claw. The more you can open with the claw, the more the claw will work for you and the more powerful your approaches will be. When you see that drop dead gorgeous, stunning, beautiful woman walk by you, wouldn't it be nice to know what to say to her? Wouldn't it be nice to have the confidence to approach her with that rock solid eye contact that I teach you guys in Seven Months of Mastery? Wouldn't it be nice to approach her with full confidence, rock solid eye contact and be like, hey, hi, I saw you standing there. I thought you were gorgeous. What's your name? My name's Matt, nice to meet you. My friends call me M. Who are you? What are you doing right now? I was about to go grab some coffee right now. There's a Starbucks about two blocks away. Take two minutes, come with me, let's go. Let's go, you're not gonna regret it, come with me. You're the man, you have to lead, okay? But you have to know how to lead. You have to get experience leading. And really, you gain confidence from from learning this stuff. The more you learn, the more confidence you'll have to be able to walk up to that drop dead, gorgeous, beautiful, stunning woman, the dime piece, right? We call it a dime piece in the pickup community. Perfect 10, dime piece. You'll be able to walk up with that to that girl, complete confidence, okay? Rock solid eye contact, no flinching. And complete seriousness, be like, hey, who are you? My name's Matt. I saw you standing there. I thought you were gorgeous. I thought you were stunning. I wanted to meet you. What are you up to right now? Cool, where are you headed? All right, well, I'm going to Starbucks. It's about two blocks this way, okay? I'm gonna grab coffee. It's gonna take two minutes, and I want you to come with me. You walk up to a stunner like that, with that kind of confidence, you'll be shocked at the response you get. You'll be shocked at how fast she becomes attracted to you because she's not used to that. Most beautiful women, let me tell you a secret, most beautiful women do not have guys approaching them like that. The guys that approach beautiful women that are like stunners, like drop dead gorgeous perfect tens, the guys that even work up the nerve to approach them are freaking shaking in their boots, okay? They're shaking with fear. Their eyes are dilating. They're like, oh my gosh, I just hope she approves of me, right? Because most guys who approach young, beautiful women, all they're trying to get is their approval and validation. Where when you approach her, you'll have full entitlement, like I do, like my students do. When we approach those drop-dead gorgeous women, those beautiful dime pieces, those perfect tens, we're not there seeking her approval and validation. That's not even in our head. When we approach them, we are feeling fully entitled. We are feeling not approval, but sexual arousal. We are aroused by her. And you might think you're aroused by a 10, but I guarantee you're not. This is how you know you're entitled or not, okay? Because the girls that you feel entitled to, you automatically feel that, that instant sexual arousal for. And for most guys, hate to say it, the girl's usually about a five or six. The girl's usually a five or six. It's because they don't really have too much game. They don't really have too much pickup knowledge. But whose fault is that? Guys who are fully entitled to the perfect tens, the eights, nines, and tens, especially the tens, right? We're talking about the dime pieces. The guys who feel entitled to them, instead of approaching them and feeling the need to gain their approval, instead of that, they're feeling fully entitled. 
okay? We're feeling fully entitled. We're feeling sexual arousal. We're imagining ourselves having sex with her as we're sit it standing there talking to her. Just like most guys would when they're talking to a five or six. They're sit standing there being like, hey, I'm better than this chick. I can picture myself having sex with her and they're thinking of all the dirty things they're gonna do to her in their head. That's entitlement, okay? It's kind of a crass way of putting it, but that's entitlement, okay? When you walk up to a girl, either you are feeling entitled to her or you're seeking her approval. That's it, period. Most guys who approach perfect tens, they are not feeling entitled. Okay, they are not feeling sexually aroused by her. They're not thinking of all the dirty things they want to do to her. Okay, instead, you know what they're thinking about? Getting her approval and validation. They just want her to approve of them so they feel like they're worthy of her. That's what happens when you don't have any training. You know, and I don't blame you guys. Nobody taught us this stuff. Nobody taught me this stuff. Okay, but you guys are in a very, very unique and fortunate situation because there was an invention about 15 years ago, probably longer than that actually, maybe 20 years ago now, called the internet. Okay, and then shortly after that, a platform arose from the ashes called YouTube. And nowadays, you can just get on YouTube and you can Google guys like me, you know, especially guys like me who are actually doing it, okay, somebody who could teach you this stuff so you could pack your own pickup artist toolbox with enough skills, techniques, tips, tricks, and strategies where you can also walk up to that drop-dead gorgeous woman, that perfect 10, and no longer feel like you need her approval or her validation, but instead feel entitlement, feel entitled to her, and feel that instant sexual arousal where you can picture yourself having sex with her, okay? Because again, the truth is, most guys, when they're talking to a drop-dead gorgeous woman, even if they're not even approaching her, just say that she's like their waitress or something, they're not feeling entitled to her. They're like, oh my God, this chick is so hot. You know, they're more or less like trying to act in a way that they feel that she would find uh, accepting. And that's really what uh, seeking somebody's approval and validation is. You're kind of trying to filter yourself and filter your personality and manage the impression of yourself so that you don't give off a bad impression of yourself to her because you're worried about what she might think of you, how she might view you. Why? because you want her approval and validation. When I see those drop dead gorgeous perfect tens, those dime pieces, those model looking women, I'm not thinking about her. I care less about her approval and validation. She needs to seek mine. That's how I think about it, okay? She needs to seek mine. If it's one of my students, she needs to seek their approval because we consider ourselves high value males. We know we're high value and you need to know you're high value too. And you need to stop seeking their approval, okay? Instead. You need to work on yourself. You need to get. You need to gain these skills so you can build up your confidence. So that when you are interacting with a perfect ten, a dime piece, instead of feeling like you need her approval and validation, you will feel that entitlement. Okay, that instant entitlement, that instant sexual arousal. Don't waste the next 20 years of your life trying to figure this out for yourself. Okay. I've already done it for you. I've been out in fields over two decades now. I've gotten blown out hundreds of times. I've learned from those blowouts. I've approached tens of thousands of young, beautiful women. I've dated over 300 young, beautiful women successfully now. So I've just given you all of the tips, tricks, and strategies that actually work. I cut to the chase. There's no need to go uh, philosophical about pickup like a lot of these top pickup guys are these days, you know, they're plugging a lot of these, you know, guys like Eckhart Tolle, and I'm like, are you kidding me? I grew up in the hate, okay? I grew up by Hate Nashbury, and I saw plenty of these guys, plenty of these charlatans, and I'm not saying Eckhart Tolle is one of them, but he certainly looks like one to me. I, I don't know, there's something that I just don't gel with. It just reminds me a lot of these guys that I saw growing up on Hate Nashbury kind of peddling their philosophies, and they're really just stealing excerpts from the Bible. You know, a lot of what Eckhart Tolle teaches, I mean, a lot of what he teaches are a lot of rip-offs from the scriptures, you know? For you guys who've actually uh, gone to Sunday school and whatnot. I mean, I went to Catholic school my entire life, so I recognize a lot of what he's kind of twisted into uh, his own uh, philosophical teachings. You know, these top pickup guys are plugging guys like uh, Tolle. You know, they're getting more into like the philosophical approach to pickup as opposed to the bare bones meat of pickup of what it takes to pick up a drop dead gorgeous perfect 10. 
they're getting away from that. They're just getting way too philosophical. You know, a lot of these guys too, they have like hour to two hour long videos that they constantly upload to YouTube. And the reason why they could talk endlessly like that is because, you know, and I could do that too. I choose not to do that. But what they're doing is a, a public speaking technique, which is called talking around the point versus actually getting to the point. Okay? So if I were to talk around the point, uh, I could actually make a two to three hour video, coaching video, every time I upload to YouTube. But I really don't want to do that because you guys won't even watch the whole thing. Uh, you won't end up going out there applying any of my techniques because they'll be buried in this three hour coaching video. And I don't want to do that to you. And I don't want to take you through a philosophical lecture just when you're here to learn how to attract women into your life. Okay, we don't need to get into philosophies of it because pickup is very simple, it's straightforward. There's really not, not too much philosophy to it. It's more, more or less based on female biology and uh, female psychology. That is really what I'm teaching you. But not textbook theory, but applicable theory that you can use out there to bring these girls into your life. Make sense? All right, so let's wrap this up. If you've not yet jumped into my monthly coaching program, Seven Months of Mastery, then you want to do that right now, just click the link below in my description box. It'll take you over to my website where you can get signed up right now for just one buck, right? It's still only one buck, so don't miss out, okay? Please don't miss out on this. Take advantage of it while it's still here, okay? Before it goes away, okay? Before I close the doors. I don't know how much longer I'm gonna do this, guys. I mean, I'm always gonna do pickup myself, but as far as teaching it, I don't know how much longer I'm gonna do this. Okay, personally for me, I'd love to keep teaching pickup till I'm dead, all right? I don't know what tomorrow holds, but right now I'm still teaching it. I'm still in the game. I'm at my prime in the game right now, okay? I'm at my peak right now, and I'm giving you all of my best ideas fresh from the field, okay? I'm still out there in field. I'm giving you all of my best tips, tricks, and ideas and strategies fresh from the field so you can go out there and try them out for yourself and you can see for yourself that what I'm teaching you actually does work and they'll help you and they'll help you bring that bomb ass girl into your life. Any of these girls that you haven't been able to get previously, you'll be able to go back and actually attract them into your life. Okay, and I've been able to do that too. I've been able to go back into my past. Anybody I wasn't able to get before, I went right back into my past and I found them and I attracted them into my life and I finally closed them, okay? And I want the same for you. This is M from The 33 Secrets, signing out from Universal Studios in Hollywood. Beautiful night. You could be here with your date, with your new girlfriend if you just learned this stuff. You could be looking at this fountain together with all these families over here. Could be you if you learn this stuff. Until next time.